Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Coach Pink, this is Coach Eli, and we're here from the Cleveland Powerlifting Club. You know, powerlifting is just a fancy word to say that you're gonna squat, you're gonna bench press, and you're gonna deadlift, so everybody does that all the time. We teach this stuff to our kids in the Cleveland Powerlifting Club, they're all Clevelanders, right? And we've had a lot of success by teaching this stuff to high school kids, so much so that our last powerlifting meet We've qualified about 15 kids to go to high school nationals, USA Powerlifting High School Nationals in Aurora, Colorado in May. Let me tell you, about three years I started this program. I moonlight as an educator for Cleveland schools at Davis Aerospace and Maritime High School. And we just started this program to get kids in here working out. Our kids are Clevelanders. Our kids come from some of the most impoverished neighborhoods in the city, West 25th, Clark, Fulton, East Cleveland, North Collinwood, St. Clair, and I tell you, Coach Eli is going to give you a little data about what affects our students. Thanks, Coach. I first got involved in the program just over a year ago at a local competition, and like everybody else that was there, I was blown away by how amazing the kids performed and just how many kids there were, diverse kids, different ages, boys, girls. So afterwards, I approached Coach Pink about getting more involved and learning more about these kids, and here's some things I discovered. 46% of all kids under the age of 18 in Cleveland live in poverty. 54% come from single parent homes. And as Coach has already alluded to, some of our kids come from the most impoverished neighborhoods in the entire city. There's not a lot of data yet on COVID, but a recent nationwide study of teens found that 43% have been reporting feeling depressed, 60% lonely, and 70% some sort of a mental health issue. Our program is critical and it deals with all of these concerns. And Coach Pink's gonna talk a little bit more about what that value proposition is. Yeah, I can tell you this. I, I started coaching uh, in Cleveland a long time ago in 1997. And I became a head football coach at East High School around 2007. East High School is on 79th and Superior. And one of the things I'll never forget, I took a kid to go get a physical on Monday, and on Friday he was dead. He made the wrong choice, did some gang stuff, and ultimately lost his life. The number one issue in Cleveland that's affecting kids is poverty and everything that goes with it. And one of those things that goes with it is violence. Violence is still here then, it's still here today. We're making a difference by helping our kids get into the weight room and become strong. We don't wanna just have kids that's strong with a great bench press. We don't wanna have kids that's just strong with a great squat. We want kids to be strong enough to go through the chaos that they face in their lives every single day. And that's the impact that what this money would mean to our program and to our students. Go ahead, Coach. Thanks. Uh, so we've been able to raise just over $8,000 to date, probably twice that value in in-kind donations from generous donations from individuals, corporations, organizations like this, and IOBI, who we've already partnered with. But we need more help. In order for us to send kids to competitions across the country, we gotta cover memberships, registrations, and travel costs. We also know that as we continue to grow this program and get more kids, we need more equipment and we need more gear to ensure that they lift safely. But we also have, as we've talked about, some very unique challenges. We have kids in our program that need t-shirts, shorts, and shoes just to work out, as well as food. All of which we have provided and we will continue to provide at no cost with your help. So on behalf of the Cleveland Powerlifting Club, as well as Coach Pink and myself, we want to thank you for taking the time to listen to our pitch. Thank you.